what's uh, really exciting about Durham is that we have all these different areas um, that we can shop in. For example, just starting up at Irwin Square, you have Jewel Smith, which is an amazing jewelry store with, uh, they produce custom jewelry there. Little unique type of shops that they want to visit other than your mainstream shops. And 9th Street happens to be one of those shopping districts. People often, because there's so much commercialism, they're going back to something that's a little more unique, something that's handcrafted. We want to work with artists. We want to work with people who knows how to cut. Something's more to offer, you know? There are very independently eclectic type of things, like the toy store that we're in. We have a lot of old-fashioned wooden toys that you wouldn't find in some of the larger chain stores. There's some other little small shops that have very unique clothing and shoes and arts and things that are made by local vendors as well. And then coming down into Brightleaf, of course, we're here with offbeat music, which has the, the best. best collection of music yeah. in the triangle. Yeah. Um, and uh, Hill. Hamilton Hill jewelry, a phenomenal uh, showcase of international designers. The cut of our <laughs> clothes is a little bit more tailored. Um, it's a little bit more, you know, fitted and uh, a European flair to it, even though um, it's designed here and and often produced here. And then further downtown, dollies with vintage um, uh, clothing, which is a lot of fun. And then over in Golden Belt, beautiful art, you know, the Labor Love Gallery, artist studios that are open to the public to come and look and, and buy art that's produced uh, and, and made right here in Durham. It's a wonderful place to be and, and we're really proud to be part of the Renaissance here.